Welcome to another How To Hawkeye video. In this one, we're going to look at order status and continue order. So we can see there, by default, in our last year, we have a few orders that we're going to interrogate. We can filter them. We can filter them by the order type, the product, or the status, and just a random keyword search through the order as well. And we can remember those settings. Okay, so if we look at all of the types of status you can have there on the right hand side, on the left hand side, those icons mean either a spread with a product or just a spread only because you have the product at hand. So let's have a look at one of those orders. First spring. We can show on the map or view details. And first of all, we're going to show it on the map. On the right hand side there, you can see paddocks that are this order. Now let's just go and hover. We can see the area, the date, and the rate that is proposed for that order. Now we can go in and view the details. We can see more about that order. And we can also request to cancel if it has not been dispatched. We can complete it if it's been done by ourselves, if it's a self-spread. And we can create an activity as well if we've done it. If it's done by an integrated spreader, that will come on automatically. So now, Let's go and have a look at Continue Order. So inside Continue Order is a list of orders that we have not completed or sent right through the system. Let's take a look at one of those and how we can actually take it right through the system because we want to actually complete it now. So we can see the date that we first created that order. We're going to change it because we now want to have it about a week later. And we have a duplicate spread warning come up. That's great. We can say that's OK in this instance and continue on. We can change any of those details in there now, but if it's OK, we can just click Next. And as we have a look at the summary, we can see the different rates, the average, the logistics. We can have a look at each one of those rates just by clicking on each of them separately. We can view a PDF that we're going to use for the spread, whether it's via a spreader as a contractor or ourselves, and we can request the spread. Once you click that button, it will send all of the details to those that need to get the information. Thanks for watching, and check out this channel for more how-to Hawkeye videos.